Hey, uh, I wanted to show you some adjustments I made to um, a blueprint from the newly released Stadium and Event Fan Spawner that's on the Unreal Marketplace. It's pretty great. As you can see, you can um, set up uh, a quarter of a million uh, animated fans here. They're vertex animated, uh, and it's very performant. It's got a great chair editor. Um, that you can do all kinds of stuff with and to lay out your fans and it's in version one um since it's version one uh i noticed it is missing a feature here and that's in the way you space out the chairs as you can see here the chairs are spaced out so they're almost touching the back rail there so when the fans spawn in they spawn in correctly and have uh, enough room in front of them excuse the obs japanese and just started it so let me show you what i did let's make a new row of fans okay run this guy which is the um chair editor let's show the square editor as opposed to the line editor which you can use for curve sections but i haven't had a chance to set that up yet uh but i'm assuming the process is similar to what i'm going to show you so as you can see they are a set distance away from each other you can set the height all right and i happen to know that's one of the heights that work on my uh, stadium here so if i move this over into the stands you see the distance between them now is spaced out incorrectly for my stadium so what i did is i made a little custom switch and now I can push them back. Let's try 95. That looks a little better. And if I push them back, there we go. This can be a little squirrely. You can move around the spline point. This stuff happens. So that's kind of what we want. Anyway, so let's move this one forward. There happens to be two here. Just push that out of the way. Uh, I won't go into the details of building the spline, but as you can see, you can build some pretty complex stuff and it will stick to the surrounding geometry and there's different chairs and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and I'm sure in version two, they're going to have this feature that I added, but this is pretty easy to add on your own. Um, so let's check out the blueprint. Here's the fan spawner and the main blueprints folder. And if you go to the square editor tab, you can make the uh, needed adjustments. I added this just branch of logic here um, and three different variables. One's a on and off switch, so you can turn it on. One's the variable from the um, editor, which is over here. And then there's this variable, which is set depending on the condition of the custom switch. Then inside the square transform, it says the road distance variable that I just set up where before this was um, connected directly to this variable over here, but now it's set to the variable that I brought in. And I'm basically just taking my number here and plugging it in to the square transform, which will set up the chairs accordingly. Um, I'm going to pop this up one more time so you can take a look at it. Um, it's really simple. You're setting these variables here. And your variables down here. Now we need to um, set these variables in the uh, other function. So you can just grab off um, the pin here and then just type in your variable name. You might have to scroll down to the bottom of the list, depending on what it is. And let's take a look, make sure, row, distribute, custom. And you would plug it into there, which I've already done, so I'm gonna delete this. And let's see, let's compile. Let's spawn some fans, uh, spawn some fans, which you can do right here. And if I hit play, 
There they are. If you're seeing the ghost chairs there, just run your editor widget. Get rid of the chair models. Hit play. And there we go. I'm running OBS, so my frame rate's a bit slow, but normally it's quite performant. Um, but now I can space out my chairs and my stadium in this first version of the plugin. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.